Alright. So before anybody jumps to conclusions, before any PlayStation Home users get happy, I am gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna break the news to y'all. PlayStation 2 isn't gonna drop. No, it, it it will never drop. But before you get mad at me and dislike this video and you know pretty much start raging in the comments or even even before you hop off of this video I'm going to tell you why PlayStation Home 2.0 will never drop and the reason PlayStation 2 will never drop is because PlayStation was never released yes I said it laugh all you want think I'm stupid all you want but PlayStation 2 never released yet and a lot of y'all like Josiah what do you mean we all play PlayStation no we never played PlayStation and I'm gonna tell y'all why we never played PlayStation let me read this PlayStation Home was a virtual 3D social gaming platform developed by Sony Computer Entertainment London Studio for the PlayStation 3 on the PlayStation Network it was accessible from PS3's Xros Media Bar XMB. Membership was free but required a PSN account. Upon installation, users could choose how many hard disk space they wish to reserve for home. Development for the service began in early 2005 and it was launched as an open beta on December 11, 2008. Home remained as a perpetual beta until its closure on March 21st, 2015. If y'all didn't get that, replay this video. Not replay the video, but re start from the point where I said that it, is, it was a beta. I'm going to repeat that for y'all. Development of the service began in early 2005 and was launched as an open beta on December 11th, 2008. Home remained as a perpetual beta until its closure on March 31st 2015 March 31st 2015 marks the day PlayStation Home beta was closed it didn't mark the end of PlayStation Home because PlayStation, PlayStation Home never happened now as we look you know it took PlayStation about three years before it was released. PlayStation Home Open Beta closed on March 31st, 2015. That's about three years, not even four years yet. Only three years that PS Home has been closed. Just think about it until the next March 31st well, I could be wrong probably four years I, I want to say four years but I want I really want to say three years because you know 2015 to 2016 that's one year 2016 to 2017 that's two yeah about three four four years PS Home been closed for four years the open beta PlayStation Home was never released so what if they've been working in, on this in the dark and then all of a sudden the real PlayStation Home drops. If we go to the user agreement, it says During the open beta, you will provide us with your views and feedback on PlayStation Home and may send us ideas for improvement, enhancements, and other changes in connection with PlayStation Home. Suggested changes. Had the uh you know you agree that now I understand it, blah blah blah. If y'all ain't read the user agreement, y'all missed out on a lot of things. Y'all missed out on a lot. The home service is in beta. From time to time, we will modify the home service without any notice to you. Modifications may include automatic software updates, upgrades, or removal of content or services that may cause a loss of data, content, functionality, or utility. You authorize us to make all the modifications we deem necessary and desirable. You agree that to the extent permitted by law, we are not liable for any loss of data, content, function, or utility. We lost a lot 
of money on PS Home and they are not liable to that they are not liable for that but as I say PlayStation Home never released the open beta was released PS Home never came out of, of the beta yet so that's why PlayStation Home 2 would never drop now what if PlayStation Home drops officially on PS5 think about it it took them three years to develop the open beta what if they decided look we're not going to put this on PS4 since it's already on PS3 and PS3 servers are already up that's smart people were still on PS3 and did not buy PS4 because of PS Home so by taking that off of PS3 it encouraged people to be like look you have to move on you have to buy our new console so people bought the PS4 and they knew that if people bought PS4 for PS Home because they just added it onto PS4 people would not buy the PS5 but at the same time if they would have made it cross-platform they would have been spending more extra money so by skipping the PS4 they could bring the PS5 and by buying the PS5 just for PlayStation Home a lot of people are going to do that especially if they release it on the PlayStation and Sony's Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and social media outlooks. See, y'all got to think from a business point of view. Now, don't get too excited yet. This is just a theory that I came up with. But, as you know, a lot of people probably not going to watch this video. So, I'd rather not continue with my theory. Because I have, I have a huge theory and a lot of evidence backs that theory up. But if y'all want to hear the rest of this theory, you know, let's get this video, you know, 10,000 views at the least, 10,000 views at the least. And I will make a video discussing the very whole theory as quick as I can, thoroughly as I can, with the factual evidence to back it up. This has been Josiah and I'm out here.